Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome What's Next. Two very interesting uh, conversations we're going to be having, two interesting companies kind of blending technology and, uh, and a certain way of looking at, uh, at some kind of an investment, and I'm talking about gold. So Troy Gold and the Scoin Shop join us, and uh, Bastiat Filyun is the CEO at Troy Gold. Rail Demby is the CEO of the South African Gold Coin Exchange and the Scoin Shop. Firstly, gents, welcome. Welcome to what's next. How are you guys doing? Great, thank you. Thank you. Listen, I'm looking forward to this. Let me first ask, who is the South African Gold Coin Exchange Scoring Shop, uh, and and who is Troy Gold? So maybe start off with you, Bastiat. Who is Troy Gold? Yeah, I think uh, Rail definitely um, his rep- uh, coin's reputation precedes him. So um, yeah, good thing we start with Troy Gold. I think Troy Gold is the new kid on the block. I think we are a gold-based fintech, effectively, and we're trying to build financial tools for physical gold. Um, physical gold is a fantastic hedge against inflation, against systemic risk outside of the financial system. Right. Um, but for that reason, it's also very much disconnected from the financial system. You know, it exists in dark vaults. And what we're trying to do as a fintech startup is bring gold out from the darkness and into the light by providing financial tools on um, on physical. Okay, very interesting. I'm looking forward to see to hearing from you a little bit later how you plan to do that. Um, uh, this coin shop, the South African Gold Coin Exchange, you guys have been around for a long time, Rail. Yes, Aki. Um, <clears throat> my father took over the business uh, almost uh, 45 years ago. Uh, next year would actually be its 50th year. Uh, the wow. South African Gold Coin Exchange buys and sells Krugerrands, collectible coins, and numismatics. And over the years, uh, what we've been trying to do is democratize gold, make it more accessible, easier. So opening up the shops, uh, the coin shops 20 years later was exactly that way. Uh, allowing people to learn about gold, uh, to buy small, a uh, few ounces, a uh, tiny uh, fractional Krugerrand, all the way to some really special, rare South African uh, felt point or or something of that nature. So uh, what I've been doing in the last few years is trying to continue that legacy uh, of, of allowing people to own, even if it's a fraction of gold or something, just to begin. And uh, we've become more digital. We're online, e-commerce. Uh, the way we operate is digital. We accept cryptocurrency. And this adventure started with Troy Gold. And to further enhance that idea to democratize gold and to, uh, as they say, bring gold out of the dark and into the, the modern uh, light. So we're super excited to be partnering up with them and continuing this legacy that, uh, that we continue to do here. I mean, listen, South Africa's history and the love affair with gold goes back a long time. I mean, this city of Johannesburg was born on gold, right? Um, uh, SA Gold owners, uh, you know, have been doing this for, for a very, very long time. And I guess that gold is part of our DNA, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, the first ever publicly uh, or allowed to be owned gold was a Krugerrand in 1967. It was the first ever gold coin that people could own and store and hoard or take with them. At the time, they didn't know how collectible and valuable it was. It was uh, uh, 27 Rand, the first ever Krugerrand. And today, a Krugerrand is 27,000 Rand. So a lot's happened in over 50 years. Um, South African uh, feel this way about gold. It's in their blood. It's in their DNA. And um, this rand hedge, uh, this ability to store something under your pillow or hopefully in storage, is really the uh, the South African way of being proud, but also uh, investing and uh, maybe diversifying one's portfolio uh, with all other natural uh, investments. Listen, I hear the story from my dad, who's now eighty six. And he, you know, he still to this day, he like, 
he's so angry with himself that he should have bought those those Kruger coins, uh, you know, back in then when they were that kind of price. And, you know, you ask him, about, what do you regret about things? He says, I should have bought more uh, Kruger coins then when they were so cheap that you, you, sp- you spoke about. But have they kept up with inflation? I mean, if you had bought then, would it, would it have been a good investment long term compared to investing on the stock exchange? And why gold? Why now? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, always uh, that uh, what your father said, I wish I bought more. It happens all and all the time. Uh, in the short term, gold is not something you can speculate with and buy now, sell tomorrow, even five or 10 years. Uh, but over this long period of time, this legacy builder that people use, uh, we see people who've inherited gold from their grandparents and their grandparents paid 50 rand a coin and now they can get 30,000 rand a coin. Uh, um, you know, has it beat inflation? Yes, it has. Uh, Bastiat uh, is a, a lot more economically inclined to answer that question in technical detail, but it's uh, beaten the S&P 500. It's, it's over the long term, it's absolutely up there. It's 6,000 years old. It's been used in the, the caves of the uh, Egyptians, the houses of Indian housewives and uh, banks and uh, governments use it to hedge their currencies. The idea is that gold should be your your gold standard. It should be the thing underneath everything else. It's the, uh, the hedge, the foundation to what you should have. It's the safety net and Bastiat would definitely be able to elaborate on that. Yes. And listen, there's a reason why, um, you know, governments keep gold bullion, right? I mean, they know something <laughs> and I guess it's that safeness of the investment. Bastiat, I mean, when you look at the Troy Gold platform, um, how, how does that work? You know, are we taking the, this, 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 this investment, this, this uh, mineral that's been around for 6,000 years and we're blending it with modern day technology. How does it work? Yeah, I'll give you a quick run through of our platform, but you know, just just exactly, you know, to echo Rail on the on the topic of gold. Gold has been around for six thousand years. A uh, Roman soldier two thousand years ago could feed uh, an entire family on one ounce of gold, and you know, today that one ounce of gold has maintained its purchasing power to effectively feed an entire family of four for a month as well. So I think the point is gold is an excellent store of value across time. Um, and it, it's been doing this for, for 2,000 years. So um, in modern times, um, we have these fiat monetary experiments that are being run. So it's really unprecedented uh, experiments that we're living through um, with mass central bank liquidity being pumped into the system. So I think you start seeing the market um, try to hedge against this debasement of currencies through the crypto experiment to create alternatives. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think so I think that's that's just the case for why um, gold, why you know people should be in gold right now because of the economic climate. Um, but specifically, I think that's the problem that Troy Gold is also trying to solve in part. Um, we very much specialize on, as I said, bringing that gold into the light. So we'd like to provide all the financial tools you would have in, you know, RAND. So you have your RANDs in a bank account, you have all these different financial pool tools, whether you have a, a transactional MasterCard, you have credit against your um, RAND facility. So, so you have all these tools in the normal um, environment. But for this age old store of value in, in gold, which is really the oldest money, we come from the school of thought that gold, you know, is, is money. So this, the oldest form of tried and time-tested um, money um, does not have these financial tools. And I think that's, that's where Troy Gold comes in. So very briefly, um, how our system works is uh, we've partnered with SCOIN, the South African Gold Exchange and Rail. They really are experts in handling the physical layer, the storage, the distribution, of you know the physical gold, so we've partnered with um, with them. So as a base, um, they handle all our physical distribution and um, and storage. So our platform works. There are Kruger rands that are stored in the vault with um, with the South African Gold Exchange that are very secure. Um, our tech system digitizes um, 
does Krugerrand. Effectively, what that means is we give each Krugerrand uh, an ID number. So when, and we split that one Krugerrand into a million digital parts. So when a client of ours or a user of ours comes onto the platform and they buy 10 rands worth of gold, they're buying direct co-ownership in a specific Krugerrand. Uh, that, okay. that just means that, so, so that's the real base of our platform to allow um, anyone to access physical gold ownership without any counterparty risk in between. They're the actual owners of that gold. Um, there's nothing in between, even if you know Troy Gold ceases to exist, they will still own that and they get an ownership certificate to prove that. Then on that base layer, that is where we start to add the monetization or the financial tools for gold. For example, we um, issue users with a South African bank account and a MasterCard, a Troy Gold MasterCard that is branded um, Troy Gold and is linked to their gold wallet within the app. Um, and then that's when the user has access to the financial tools. They can effectively you know, enjoy instant liquidity on their gold holdings um, by spending the value of their gold through the MasterCard. And we are also actually introducing a new product right now where they have a gold loan facility against the value of their gold, where they don't even have to sell their gold. You know, gold bulls and people who want to store their value are long gold. So they, they don't want to you know, let go of their gold, but by giving them a facility against the value of their gold for them to spend or withdraw, um, they enjoy the liquidity and the value in their gold holdings, but without letting go of their gold. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's the wow. gold plan. That's very interesting. So you're basically turning the gold and into like a, a liquid asset, right? So if you've got say 10,000 Rand invested in, in, in gold and you need a thousand Rand of that, you can, you know, withdraw it and it just does the value, it adjusts it automatically. Uh, I mean, it's a very clever idea. So you're actually turning the the gold into some kind of a value that you can transact with. Now, who ultimately would need this product and, and why would they need it? Well, so I think there are two categories of users. I think, um, as Rel would know, there are existing gold owners. Uh, and those owners already understand the value of gold. Um, but, you know, as we mentioned, you know, gold does have legacy issues. You know, it really isn't, you know, very, you know, modern time friendly. It hasn't been digitized. It hasn't been brought into the to the digital age. So I think to those users, um, I think what we're trying to do in partnership with Scoin is um, just add that layer of um, that technical layer or, um, you know, to, to, to make gold ownership frictionless, to add uh, an, an unrivaled layer of liquidity to their gold ownership. Um, so I think that's that's the first set of users that, um, that we do think would find um, value in our product. Then, um, then there are, you know, those, those, those people that understand what's happening in the economic climate and understand that effectively their wealth is being eroded through inflation, through weakened mm. currencies. Um, and, I, and I think those people, um, the man on the street, they need a place to store their wealth and to be able to save um, in, in, in a time-tested store of value. And I think we're seeing more and more of those, us those users come on board um, because we have effectively democratized the ability for um, the man on the street to purchase any quantity of real physical gold. Um, we're actually seeing a large influx of those users um, that just simply want to protect their wealth in in, in any denomination. So, Fantastic. So yeah. you're giving people a choice in an alternative in, 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 uh, in a product that's been around for thousands of years, basically, you know, and modernizing how you interact with that uh, specific mineral. And this in question would be gold. I mean, let's talk about this partnership between the South African Gold Coin Exchange and the Scoin Shop and, and Troy Gold. How is this partnership going to work? Bass, I can take that. Um, thanks, Aki. Um, you know, as we were saying, as we continue to to develop and grow and become a bit more modern, uh, we, we had some very special uh, um, people who brought us together and we saw that there was an opportunity to store the gold uh, for Troy on behalf of gold and at face value that was all it was going to be we were just going to look after them and their gold uh, then we said well let's see what we can do we'll, we'll look after it and maybe we can advertise it 
for you and and build something together and uh, in the last six to nine months we we actually joined forces we became uh, angel investors in Troy gold we believed in it so much we understood it and we would act as the uh, the marketing and distribution and physical infrastructure and Troy gold have this incredible technological um, understanding uh, their fractionalized ownership their uh, their development skills is something that we can't compete with um, and at the same time our infrastructure is something that they can't so we believe yes. that we are the best of both worlds we we work well together we can uh, join forces we still sell physical gold coins in our shop if people want uh, one ounce Kruger and they want to take it home that's totally fine but this idea opens up a new category uh, maybe a younger person maybe someone digitally savvy maybe someone who wants to look at their phone and be right. able to see exactly what they have so you know we, by this is the next layer of democratizing uh, the gold to everybody um, our vision and mission was one man one ounce let everybody <laughs> have one ounce one man and, one um, ounce I love it that's it and that's it and that's what we continue to do and we we need Troy and they need us so it's been a, a great partnership so far I think we this is only just the tip of the iceberg um, for what's to come. So, I mean, Raul, what, what does this mean for, for retail gold, for example, and all of those investors in South Africa? What do they do? Well, look, if you store your gold with us already, uh, you have access to this uh, functionality. You can basically transfer your your gold, your Krugerrands into the, the Troy Gold um, pot, if you will. Um, everything will be allocated and organized for you. And then you will get the, the, uh, the application and the card and you will just mirror what you have. Now it's on your phone. When it comes to retail, you know, we've made a few adjustments over the years. Uh, digital uh, over the phone emails has allowed us to sort of be a bit more agile security issues people don't want to walk into a shopping mall and buy 200 grand worth of gold and walk out in a packet so we've had to understand people's needs and mm. how they want to maybe know what they have but have it at arm's length so our shops are there to remain in control and have a national footprint and be able to distribute we will help distribute the cards we will help educate people about the application uh, we will be able to deposit gold so if somebody has 10 Kruger Ants and they want to put it on to Troy Gold they would do that in one of our uh, national shops and then it will filter back in there so you know you just move along with the times and see uh, brick and mortar is very important to us uh, face to face interactions with clients is super important and then you know people are just engaging in the digital era like never before uh, so so there's opportunity for someone online to just click a button and and spend a bunch of money on gold and really sort of park it, but be able to look at it. That's brilliant. That's a, that's so, so, so how does how does somebody get started? Somebody watching this right now saying, hey, this is something that I want to invest in. This is for me. How does a prospective client get started with this process? Yeah, so I think you know, the first step would be to... Um, download the Troy Gold app and uh, register a Troy Gold account. Um, we go through a very quick KYC process um, to make sure that we understand all of and understand all of our users. And um, and then from there on, it's there are effectively two ways to to get started on the app. Um, as as I mentioned, you know we we, we rely very heavily on the Scoin infrastructure and um, also the trust that that Scoin has built in the market. So when um, if users already have Krugerrands um, that they own at home, they can bring it into any. Um, any scoin shop um, or, or contact the South African Gold Exchange, and that value can be loaded onto um, onto their app um, and linked to their account. And then we issue them with a, a MasterCard and facility on that. And the other route is, of course, you, 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 a user can buy any fraction of, of, of gold on the app. So they can simply you know, buy 10 rands worth of gold on the app to you know, test it out and see and get started with that. So yeah, so we, we try to remove as much friction as possible from, um, from anyone coming in and being a physical gold owner. So that really is our aim, you know, to be it's, it's like almost like a... <laughs> It's almost like Bitcoin, but for gold, you know, the Bitcoin exchange, but for gold, or is that uh, not a fair comparison? 
question. I think um, in terms of Bitcoin, I think in terms of user functionality, that's that's a very good point. Um, the market and the modern consumer wants something that is frictionless, that's digital, you know, whether it's Uber Eats, whether it's Bitcoin, it needs to be instant. So I think yeah. what we're trying to create in that sense is to create that instant access to this age old you know, store of value. But the key difference is, um, of course, the physical gold is safely stored with the South African Gold Exchange. So whatever happens di digitally, you know, this time-tested store of value is still safe there. So I think that's, uh, the, that's, that's the biggest difference. That's a very, very good point. Now, look, we're talking about a lot of money, people putting down their investments, etc. Um, uh, and obviously, security, you hear, you hear some horrific stories out there. Uh, talk to me about security, guys, a security element for both platforms, both companies, platforms and infrastructure, for example. How do we know? How does the customer know that it's legit and it's all secure and safe? Um, actually, we've, uh, you know, out of the 20 years of uh, the scoring shops, we have had incidents and uh, some robberies and some issues. So we've uh, fixed up the way we do things and how much stock we keep on site. Um, we have very impressive storage solutions. We have an incredible off-site facility that looks after all the coins. It's fully audited. It's checked. Troy does their audit. Everything is there. And we look after that in that way. And that's how these certificates can be issued to clients on the app. Uh, we understand the the riots, the issues, the unemployment, the desperation in this country. But we urge people not to keep their gold in their homes and under their, under their beds or in their gardens. We've heard of these stories before. Uh, people have coins in their attic or dug up in a hole in their garden. And, you know, there are lots of storage solutions. Ours is really good, built over um, 10, 15 years of, of loads of clients coming in. So we're very comfortable and we fully insured. The stock is fully insured. It's all safe. And then, you know, we have to pass that trust on to Troy and all of the coins that are allocated to the clients are correctly allocated back to us. And uh, uh, Bastet would talk more about the, the size cyber security and the banking security on his side. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a good one because I mean cyber security, and I mean we've heard about the hacks of Bitcoin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it, it obviously petrifies some users. Yeah, you know, I think that's that, that's that's paramount. As I mentioned, um, you know, dealing with people's value and their gold, you know, trust. Trust is absolutely key, and security at that. I think that's. One of the key reasons why we partnered with with Scoin. Um, so I think you know Rail has, as has talked about the physical infrastructure layer, and we're very fortunate to be able to leverage off of their um, processes and security in terms of that. Um, in terms of our digital layer, we'd like to think that um, we are very close to bank level security. I think. Um, we actually, in our app, amalgamate a, a numerous regulatory environments to craft the solution. I, I'll just very quickly run through that. One of the one of the regulatory environments that we um, bring into the solution is um, by issuing users a, a, a bank account and a Mastercard linked to that bank account, um, and. We, we leverage the infrastructure and, and the licensing of Access Bank for to do that, actually. So we f have to follow in our app all of their bank-level security protocols. So um, so we'd, we'd like to claim that you know, everything is bank-level security on in, in our side, and um, we use best practices um, in, in digital security. Um, but the great thing about physical gold is, even though worst case scenario there is you know a hack on the uh, on the digital layer the physical gold the actual yes. the actual value is very safely in a vault so we have you know uh, lucky enough to have an additional layer of security in that regard okay i feel I, I, my mind is a, is at ease um i mean when you look at gold and uh, you know there's so much speculation at the moment i mean w w rail what, what can gold owners expect from the gold price going forward uh, there's so much going on in the world with COVID. as i said you know you're hearing you know rumors about inflation creeping up and uh, rates and interest rates going up i mean how's this going to impact gold long term where to from here 
Look, what we've seen is gold is very counter-cyclical. Uh, when the world is in turmoil, gold shoots up. Uh, when the things seem on, on face value to be stable, gold sort of stays stable or can decline. Um, it really starts to do that. But, you know, when in doubt, zoom out. You just keep looking at the bigger picture of gold. And people day trade gold, but but that would be like as speculative yeah. as any uh, stock or, or, or cryptocurrency when you look at gold you see this as this hedge this long-term strategy to protect your wealth it is not the uh, the traditional investment we tell people if you have other investments you can put about 30 uh, maybe 10 or 15 percent of your money into gold and out of that you can split it up maybe 70 percent into bullion which is kruger ands and maybe 30 percent into collectibles so that's sort of that's always been our, our mantra and uh, you know there's no past history that can determine the future but uh you know you can't just print money in america and expect everything's going to yeah. be fine you can't uh, everyone's expecting inflation and it's probably going to happen and it, it all it almost like it, it always comes too late everyone says oh i should have bought gold uh, that's what your your father yeah. said that's what my father tells me all the time C- clients come and say i wish i bought more um if you look at it short term maybe you need to do some other things or put money into savings but in the long term gold is an absolute winner it's um now with troy it becomes easier and it becomes more accessible you don't need mm. thirty thousand rand for one kruger rand you can put in one thousand rand and the bottom line is it is and can be redeemed if you buy a gold Gold share, gold ETF, you don't ever have redeemable access to that unless you bought like a, a huge kilo that's sitting under the Queen's uh, vault in Buckingham Palace. But if you do want to redeem your one Kruger Rand after you've accumulated it, this is the place to start. And and as for the higher level spectrum, people are protecting their money, they're protecting their wealth from uh, maybe some government uh, economical issues or maybe uh, confidence in your own currency. And that's when the bigger guys start to say, okay, I need to put a big section of my wealth into gold. And both can be done through Troy Gold. Fantastic. What an interesting discussion. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for explaining it, uh, explaining what Troy Gold is and what uh, the Scoring Shop is and how you guys are interlinked and involved. Uh, and yeah, absolutely. Gold's been around for a long time. Um, I'm still looking for those Kruger Millions, the missing Kruger Millions. So if you have any idea where they are, do let me know, please. I would appreciate it. I'll let you know first. But uh, yeah, I think, but, but uh, it's amazing. You know, gold, as you said, it's been around for a long time and this is kind of uh, you know future proofing it and and making it accessible to all and going along with the times i guess in the world that we're living in today where everything is going digital and this is just another way of going about it drop download that app it's on the app store troy gold and uh, see for yourself how it works so a big thanks to bastiat filion who's the ceo at troy gold for joining us rail demby the ceo of the south african gold coin exchange and the coin shop thank you for joining us i look forward to uh, watching the progress of this new platform with uh, great interest and uh, great on you guys for making gold so accessible to 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 people thank you very much for joining me thank you, thank you. appreciate it